Hi everyone, welcome to your Facebook Live with Rhonda. Welcome to my studio. I am here in Ovid, Michigan, with the live where I'm doing, but obviously we're all over the country and the city and the state and the world on our Facebook Live. I'm so grateful that we are able to connect like this. Almost, I did it for 12 days in a row, so we had a couple days break, but today I am coming back to you. And I'm actually gonna share with you some holiday projects again. I told myself I was done with Christmas after the 12 days of Christmas, but today Stampin' Up! announced their year-end closeout sale, which is really, it was a, it's a big sale. They have many of our current, right now, products on sale. And then they also have a clearance rack, which have some of our retired products, but they also have like the blends on there. There's all kinds of awesome stuff at deep, deep discounts. So I couldn't help, but I wanted to pull out what are some of my favorite things that Stampin' Up! has on sale. Now, almost all of it is holiday product. If you are looking at things on our, um, on our list, most of it is all out of the holiday mini catalog. So, oh my gosh, Lisa, thank you for saying that. Um, Anyway, we, that's what's on sale. So maybe you're done with your Christmas giving, maybe you're done with your holiday cards and your Christmas projects. Then think about stocking up for next year. Um, I also was thinking of Christmas presents as well for a paper crafter you may have in your life or a budding paper crafter or a, a granddaughter or something like that. There's like our, some of our papers that are so cool are like on there for $4, $5. Some of them are half priced. Uh, my favorite one that I was going to show you today but changed my mind is the, the Halloween paper. I can't think of it. It's Magic in the Night paper. So it's, it seems like it's Halloween, but it's not. When you flip it over, the other side is beautiful black and white. And so you can use that year round. That is one that I would definitely purchase if I were you. But I'm going to show you, I had to come up with what was my favorite thing from the year-end sale. So that's what I'm going to show you. And it's the um, coming home suite, trimming the town suite. It's something like that. But this is the stamp set. And I'll be honest with you, I did not purchase it right away. I didn't. I thought, okay, I can live without that one. It's cute, but um, I don't think I have to have it. And then I saw it in action and I had to have it. And I had to copy almost all of the projects that I saw and then created a bunch of my own. So much so that I also used it. Hello, my friend, Jana. Thank you for joining me today. I know I can't see you in person, so at least I get to see you through a camera. Um, anyway, I used it for my fall retreat. So all of my people who took my fall retreat have used it a ton. We made 12 projects. Let me show you one of the things that I made with it. Um, this was copied from my good friend, Carrie Blake. So, like, and it was copied almost like identical to what she did. I didn't change it at all. So it's a 12 by 12. It's hard to see because of the glare, but it's a 12 by 12. You're going to get the glare from my ring light um, sampler. And it's so cute. And it has the little snowflakes. Hey, people, these snowflakes are on sale for $3. I just bought 120 of them for my retreat for six bucks a piece. So this is a huge deal. And they're so cute cute and simple. So you can get them for $3. And I am using them on all of my Christmas. I just bought like four packs of them myself because I'm using them on my personal Christmas cards and the Christmas cards for my customers and my, my team members. And I'm using seven snowflakes on each card. So I needed a bunch of them. Um, and I bought them like three days ago before they went on sale. Um, anyway, so this was that paper. I didn't do anything else but just take that paper and frame it. But I did cut out, if you can tell, the images are cut out and then popped up with dimensional. So it gives it some dimension. Look at that car. Isn't that so cute? So anyway, this was one of the projects that we showed in our retreat. Um, this, this project is also on sale for only $15. So this is awesome. It, it was normally $30, and at $30, I thought it was a great deal. But it's on there right now for $15. So again, you um, it's an advent countdown calendar. We put scripture verses in ours. 
The one that I created, we have each day I'll have a different scripture verse that will go through the holidays and obviously put some candy in there. But um, this one you might want to pick up now and then you can make it so you'll have it ready for next year. Or you can give it to a gift to a, a child, a daughter-in-law, a grandchild, so they can put it together for next year because it has those directions inside. So that is one thing I would definitely pick up right now. 15 bucks, crazy. And then this is crazy too. This is 50% off. I've already showed this before, but the uh, tags, the tag buffet, I just sold one. I just bought one for my uh, daughter-in-law for $30. So it's worth $30. Hey, there's Anita. She's my newest person who joined my Rubber Queen team. She joined today. I'm so excited about that. Um, it is the best time to join the company and to join me with my team. Um, we have so much fun together. We do a lot of sharing and, oh gosh, so much. We have a very active Facebook group. We do monthly meetings on Zoom. We do mystery challenges and incentives and uh, creative challenges. We also do... Um, all my online classes, I have a site called Creative Corner that people pay for. It's $14.95 a month and it is so worth every penny. It has hundreds and hundreds and thousands of projects on there. And we post four new ones every single, every single week. And most times it is um, classes, like full classes, my retreats, my stamp camps, they're all on there. Anyway, my team members get free access. So it is a huge benefit if you wanting some creativity as an upline that is what I'm here to support you with. Plus, obviously, all of our team. We have almost 500 across the, the country that are part of our team. Anyway, so Anita, I'm so grateful that you joined with us. I'm so excited. Um, well, you don't have to subscribe to that because it's free for you. So when you join my team, I'll send you a link to join Creative Corner. Um, you also get all of my training for free. So again, I am an avid trainer with Stampin' Up! For my, own, for my own team, but also a lots of outside demonstrators uh, pay to, to train with me. But my team does not have to pay for any of my training. They get all of my creative conventions for free and all of my weekly training too. So Anita, you don't have to subscribe to any of that. That will be included for you as being a part of my team member. All right, so anyway, this back, back to normal schedule, this is only $15 as well. And so it is just uh, lots of great things on sale. Oh, I think I got lots of you on here now. Let's jump in and actually do some stamping together. I'm gonna show you some, one of the reasons why I love this Trimming the Town um, bundle is because it's simple and easy and you don't have to have a ton of product to be able to, to create the supplies. Actually, um, you don't even have to sometimes have stamps and ink and all of that. So I'm gonna turn you down so you can see my table and my work surface. And we're gonna do a little bit of coloring today with the blends. There actually are blends on the, um, on the uh, clearance rack as well, which I think is crazy. Let me get you straight here. I think I got ya. All right, so I've got a couple, I'm just gonna be making a couple cute cards um, and showing you a bunch of stuff too. So the uh, coming home, the framelits were, are on sale. I think they're 30% off. So I ran through a cute, there's houses on there. Um, there is uh, little houses, there's a big house, there's trees. There basically are things that you could stamp these, color them in and then run them through. I actually don't have my dies here because Nancy, my Nancy is, has them at home and she is organizing them for me. I can't wait to show you what she's gonna do with them. It's incredible. So I don't have them here, but these are some that I had had run off. So I wanted to show you, these. the, the, the framelits are on sale as well. Um, the paper's on sale, the ribbon's on sale. There's lots of stuff that are on sale from this. So what I'm gonna do is take a half a sheet. This is Poppy Parade, actually, which is a really fun color for Christmas. It's not quite as deep red as our real red. So to me, it's a little bit more of a playful Christmas color. So it's the Poppy Parade. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that I have ran through the snowflake embossing folder. It's called Snow Wonder. That is on sale as well. So it's in the mini catalog. You can, you can go ahead and pick that right up as well. Before I put that down, I wanna wrap around some ribbon. This is something that else is on sale. I think it's 50% off. 
So normally it's like $8, you can get it for four. And it's the Trimming the Town uh, ribbon combo pack. So you get both of them. I've included this in a couple of my classes already. So if you want more of it, this is Poppy Parade. So I'm gonna take that and wrap that around my snowflake before I glue down the rest of this for my card. I do want to tie it in a bow. So I'm gonna wrap it around twice because heck, it's on sale. So I can use lots of it. So it's a lot less expensive. Again, um, this is something, these are not just Christmas colors. You would use these, you know, you could use these year, year round. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I wrapped it around twice and I'm gonna tie my little bow over here. I'm going to attempt to. It's not ever easy tying bows in person, much less on a video. All right, a live video. So you guys always know I love your hearts when you give them to me. That always encourages me. And when you share this video, I also love that too. So you can hit that little share button and uh, then that is awesome too. That shows me that you love, you love this and love to share it. Sharing is caring, like I always say. So here you go. That's just our really simple. This does have a little bit of a golden metallic image, but I also think it goes well with copper and the champagne too. So it can go with some of those metallic papers. All right, so let's just go ahead and I'm gonna just, this one is not gonna have any stamping. I know, it's crazy. But I wanna show you the versatility of these dies. These dies, well, where's my adhesive? I'm gonna glue this die directly down to a stitched shape that I have. We're gonna do, this is the cute little house. Um, Carrie Blake is a realtor and so when she bought this first she would just bought it for her realtor business but then she made this incredible um, Christmas display using it as well so this is one you know if you have a friend that's a realtor this is a great obviously a great little set for them but you can use it for obviously the holidays as well if you have a friend that will buy it, some friend or family member that buys a new house, you know, it's awesome for that. There we go. So I just used some of the pieces from the framelits. Aren't those cute? Now, if you don't own the framelits, which you want to, because they're on sale right now, 30% off, but you can, all of these pieces are also in the stamp set. So it's such a simple stamp set. You can actually stamp it and then trim it out. That works as well too. So I'm gonna take this and glue it down to the front of my card. You guys are experiencing Rhonda stamping in action. Quick, simple, cute, right? Quick, simple, and cute. That's what we always look for. Um, so you can make lots of them. You can obviously make lots of these. And this is just truly a fun little Christmas card. And it is Christmassy because I'm using red and green. I'm gonna take my Stampin' Seal Plus. Obviously that's like my favorite thing. Uh, my, it's my favorite adhesive right now. I shouldn't say it's my favorite thing. It's my favorite adhesive. So um, I definitely uh, use this for all of my projects. All right, so I'm gonna take that and glue that down to the front of my card. And then for the greeting, and actually it's so cute, it doesn't even necessarily have to have a greeting. But for the greeting, I'm gonna take go to that Trimming the Town paper, which is also on sale. And then I'm going to use the words that are anywhere in here. There are so many. Peace, love, and joy. Happy Christmas. Um, there is just so, 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 so many. And if you think I'm lying to you, I'm not. Like, this is something that, like, I did on an entire class, which I want to show you. So, for instance, here's these cute little note cards we made. These are, these were a part of my fall retreat. So all of them made all of these, but I wanna show you that like literally, you can use those little words. There's season of cheer, let it snow. Look how cute these are. And I told you, these snowflake accents, you have to get those. They're only three bucks and they just make, look at that, they make it perfect. Um, peace, love, and joy, and most wonderful time of year. Are these not the cutest? And then look, your little envelopes. You always remember, put your little, put your uh, paper on your envelope. So this was one of their projects that they made. But I am serious, like I love just using this paper. Um, so let's do the, uh, let's see here. Oh boy, that's the hard part is what to choose. Um, let's just do Merry Christmas. I'm gonna be boring. 
but you could do so many other ones. But I'm just gonna choose the Merry Christmas, also because it's here on the end, so it's easy for me to get to. But I have um, three of these pieces that are completely just um, all cut up because I've used so many of the different. I love this one from our home to yours. That would have been perfect had I done like a blue themed card. Okay, so now we have the, the, the Merry Christmas. So I can still use this as a Christmas card. I obviously have lots of Christmas cards to send out, so I always can use more. And I just use the little, I like to use the edge there. And we're going to just pull that off and voila, a card. Can you believe it? That is not, is so cute and doesn't have, I'm gonna do it this way so I can see where to put it. Cause I, do I want it over here or over here? Let's do it over here. So a card that literally does not have any um, stamping at all. One last thing. I also on sale are these embellishments. Oh, they're called all the trimmings embellishments. So I'm gonna take some of these white ones and kind of sprinkle those around as well. Um, and there's some little tiny white ones too. So it kind of looks like snow, like snowflakes. So you know I love those adhesive back snowflakes. I don't have them because I'm all out. Like literally that was what I was gonna use, but they're all gone. Like I've used, and I need to get more, obviously. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on some of these cute little ones. Um, and there you go. Card number one showcasing some of my most favorite product that is on sale. Let's go to that one. I must have pulled off without the glue, but look, you can put it back down and then let's try again. I, use, I know, I need my take a pick tool. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere, I just haven't seen it. Okay, so there is card number one. I hope you like it. Let's go to card number two. Card number two, I wanna show, so that one I wanted to show the framelits obviously, and then some of the accessories, the trimming the town paper, or the trimming the town paper and ribbon and all the trimmings, all of that is on sale. So the next one is a piece of our Sahara sand, and I'm just gonna fold that in half. Usually I show you like some fun, funky folds. Um, well, they're fun, they're not gonna so funky. And then I took another piece of Sahara sand that's four by five and a quarter, and I just uh, ran it through with the scripty the scripty and that is gonna go right there so um, for this one I want to oh I got to get some paper that I have cut out here for us I'm gonna stamp directly on um, a piece of whisper white and we're gonna be using the look at this I love this set it's so hard to choose which house you want so you can choose one of the houses and for this one, I am going to use my, uh, let's use soft suede. And we're gonna stamp that off on a scrap piece of Whisper White because I wanna be able to color this in. Oh, I need my little pad thingy, which I have somewhere. If you saw the mess on my desk right now, you guys would all be like, oh, Rhonda, you're such a messy person, but you can obviously always relate. So I do have that pad somewhere around here. I just used it, but anyway, we're gonna try it without it. There, it worked. The pad would be better. And then I'm gonna take one of the Christmas trees. You could take the car. The car is so stinking cute. We're gonna take a Christmas tree and I'm gonna stamp that as well. So on this piece back here, I wanna stamp um, a couple other of the houses. So let's take, just to kind of make it look like a neighborhood, so you've got some of the other houses. Again, this is can be a holiday card, but literally you could use it pretty much for any any reason, any reason at all. So I'm gonna, I need something to stamp against. Let's do this one. I'm gonna stamp this house here, like that. And I'm not cleaning these right now. I promise you I will use my chamois and I'll go back in and clean these in a minute. So then we're gonna take this house. So I kind of, you guys know what this makes me feel like? It makes me feel like a little girl and I'm playing with like my doll houses. Like that's what this stamp set makes me feel like. Is like, it, so it's kind of crazy. So I really, really do enjoy it. This is a very, it makes me feel like I'm playing with like my little, my little people. 
my daughter had those uh, play mobiles. I feel like I'm playing with, with play mobiles. So that's what I feel like. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and whip, whip out my blends. You guys know I love my blends. And uh, we're gonna pull out a light. Let's do a light old olive, which I some of these are on the um, clearance rack. And then I need a pool party, and these are labeled so I can tell what they are. I need a light crumb cake, and let's do a light real red. Um, I think that will be good enough. All right, oh yeah, that's good. So those are the colors that I'm gonna use. I'll get this out of the way here. And I'm only the Christmas tree. I'm gonna color in the old olive. This is the light old olive. You could, if you want to be really fancy, you could go in and blend with the darker old olive. So we'll do that one first. So am I making you fall in love with this suite yet? Have you guys, are you guys all convinced? So when you're on there, you're gonna find tons of other things that you're gonna wanna get on that sale. But these are just, I, I had a hard time picking between this suite Oh, there's my heater, it's freezing here. The other suite that I wanted to pick was the poinsettia, the poinsettia suite, the plush poinsettia paper. I used it on my, this one, I used it on my 12th day of Christmas, my last day. Look how beautiful this paper is. It's the, it's like plush velvety paper. It's 50% off. So you get, um, I think you get nine sheets. It is amazing. You, know, you get six sheets, so you get two each of three different designs, but it's like puffy. And um, one of them is just like this one, it's scrolly. It's not poinsettia-ish. So it could be used year round, wedding, anniversary. I use it obviously for a Christmas box. So this is another thing, like I think this is a steal to get right now. So you wanna grab that before that's sold out. Um, all right. Back to a pool party house. Don't you guys all wish you had a pool party house? Like I know that that's not a common house color, but I feel like that would be fun. So we're gonna do a pool party house. It's a very nice wintry color. And I'm just doing a light pool party. This actually is the color of one of the rooms in my house. I love this color. So there we go. I just colored in the house light pool party and then we're gonna do a red door because again it's Christmas so I want to pull out some Christmas colors you could use I use light real red which I think actually goes good with poppy parade too so you could use either or so there there is our house all colored in nice and sweet so this is what I love about this um, there are framelits that match a lot of the houses that you can get in the dies when you purchase the dies as well but this one um, is also super easy to just be able to hand cut out. I also love showing you things that are versatile. So not only would you use this for Christmas, but you would use this, this is a good set to have, you know, for the, okay, the occasion when maybe you're gonna have a party, a housewarming party, or you know somebody who bought a new house, or you had a, a new neighbor move in and you wanna give them a cute little gift with a tag or a card. So it's not limited to just Christmas, actually, I don't, is there any, the only Christmassy thing even in the stamp set is that there's a little wreath, but again, that doesn't have to be Christmas. So you would use this year, year round, it doesn't have to be. Okay, and then on this end, let's cut out this Christmas tree. So again, easy, easy cutting. Those of you who know me know I, I don't think I ever cut in front of you, because I don't typically take the time to cut anything. But this is so, this is like kindergarten cutting. So I will, I'll do this. I get nice thick lines that I get to cover and it's all straight cuts. Some of you cut all kinds of things. See, I'm almost done here and I'm already getting impatient with it. That's just, I much prefer to stamp something and then punch it out. But this one is easy enough that you, you, you can do it. All right, so I just cut out this tree there we go, we have a tree in a house and then we have a little neighborhood behind them, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this house on here with our Stampin' Dimensionals. I go, I don't know, how, how fast do you guys go through Stampin' Dimensionals? 
I go through like a package, I feel like a day. So I'm gonna stamp this here. And then I'm also going to, I wanna use some of the, uh, another, oh, this ribbon is on sale. The red braided trim. It's on sale for half price. I think it's only $3, $3.50. It's cheap. Um, and because you, you get 10 yards on a spool, you'll spend $3 on a ribbon in a store, but you'll get one yard. And if you're really generous, they'll give you two yards. But Stampin' Up's ribbons have typically 10 yards on a spool. Uh, when you get like the ribbon combo packs, they each will have like five. But so it is such a good value because you get so much ribbon. They will be, it'll be there for a long time. So there, I went ahead and just tied on um, some red braided trim that matches my red door, so which will make this Christmassy. And I'm gonna make my bow a little bit smaller. It's kind of big. So I'll do that and I'm gonna move it over to the side a little bit. This is very similar to a card that I made in my retreat, which I loved, so I wanna show it to you guys. Oh gosh, it's, okay, that's about as far as it's gonna go. All right, so I will just cut this off with my paper snips and then glue this down to a piece of pool party paper that I already have measured. Well, I almost dropped that in my um, stamp pad. That is why it's dangerous. Don't leave open stamp pads on your table. That is dangerous. I almost, well, and I just set that down with glue on the back of it already. There we go. Flip it over to that side. And glue that down. Oh, it's so sweet and pretty. Look, can you see my cute little neighborhood that happened? Love it. So now I'm gonna just take my Christmas tree and I need some more of, like, I love it when my dimensionals are all gone because then I save it and I just use it for the sides. So no part of our dimensionals ever gets wasted. All right, so there is that. Put this right up there. All right. We're almost done with this card too. Then I'm gonna just show you some other little, um, here we go. Pulling off that backing. And then we have our cute little Christmas tree that I guess I'm gonna put on this side. Right there. All right, and then this is gonna get put down. I'm gonna put this on to um, the front of our card. And because it's been embossed, I like to use dimensionals. That way it, it'll stick. Otherwise, it's um, sometimes it has a tendency to come off. All right. So who got to watch all 12 days of Christmas? Are there any of you who watched all of them? It was a lot. What's cool part is though, you can go back and look at them. They're all on YouTube and they're all here in that video section as well. This is why I go through a thing of dimensionals a week. Can you tell? This one card, I think I've used like 12 dimensionals. So I do go through them a lot. All right, so then this, I, lo I love to use color on color with the embossed background. So I embossed it with a scripty and then I just put it on color on color and it really gives the card some really awesome dimension. Do you guys love this? Okay, oh good, April did and Peggy did. You watched all 12 days. Here is the sample that I copied. Um, we use the brick background instead. And then I told you, I love those snowflakes. So, and then I just cut out some of the words there from um, that paper again. So there you go. Another really awesome, I think adorable card that is using that coming home. Last but not least, I want to show you, this was a set of boxes that I made um, using that paper. So again, the paper's on sale, grab it while you can. We made a little matching tag too, using the, this is all on sale, the red braided trim, the paper, the adhesive snowflakes. So even if you're, um, you might be done with Christmas, you can still use this year round. And then you just use whatever you have left over next year. You're gonna want um, all of this stuff. And of course, I already showed you guys this one. This was a gift bag that I made. That's the card that I made today. Similar, it's not the exact same card, but it's very, very similar. So I think that's it of all, oh no, 
look this how awesome this paper is you can simply just use the houses the trees and the snowflakes and make another beautiful set of cards these were so fun you just cut it that shows you the versatility of that paper absolutely love it all right so what do you guys think about all that those projects? I showed you a ton of them today, um, all featuring that one bundle, which we, which we love. Oh, the snowflakes are sold out. Are they really on the uh, year-end clearance seal? See, that's what happens. You don't wait. There's a lot of things that are super good on there are going to sell out. So the clearance rack always sells out of all the good stuff. So you wanna make sure that you get on there and grab everything while you can, because even like I just put in my order, and I keyed stuff in. And then when I went to go check out, one of the things I wanted was already gone. So even as much as starting your order to so the time you finish it, things will sell out too. So this is why it's a year-end closeout sale. It's a big blowout. It's the clearance rack. So it's the things that aren't guaranteed. So you just gotta get them while you can. So there was our fun today. Our fun today was this beautiful card. So sweet. Um, this is the one that has the words and the snowflakes, which I heard were sold out, which I'm, so I'm glad I bought mine a couple days ago. And then we also showed you, oh, this sweet card. Isn't that sweet too? Um, and that is with the uh, all the trimmings, embellishments, and um, oh, here's the stamp set in action too, with the red car. Like the red car is so cute. So you can see that's the same house, just colored in different colors. Um, anyway, that's what I had to show you today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. And I will be back tomorrow with a lunch break with Rhonda. I'm hoping tomorrow. Things are a little crazy in my world, um, but I will be here tomorrow. We got, I'm packaging up the uh, a Snowflake Splendor camp and trying to get that out in the mail for everybody. So I'll see you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.